What's up everybody, TaxProduction7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the spawner GUI mod, and what this mod does is it allow you to change what's spawning from a mob spawner. So you can change it from anything to a uh, cow, to a mushroom cow, you can change it to an ender dragon, um, enderman, everything. You can change it to pretty much whatever you want. So let me go ahead and hop in the world here, and I'll show you how to use this. So you can see I do have a mob spawner. If I go ahead and set it down and then right click the mob spawner, you can see you can change it to whatever you want. You even have your ocelots um, and your iron golem. So let me go ahead and see. Um, you do have to have it in the right area for it to spawn. So say for like a, a zombie, it would have to be in a uh, dark area and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and see if I can change it to spawn an iron golem. I've never seen what these look like before. Okay, that looks creepy. I don't think I want to have that spawn here. So let's change it to an ocelot and see if it spawns that. I may need to be in a jungle biome for it to spawn. I'm not sure. I know for sure a mushroom cow will spawn here, so I'll just change it to a mushroom cow actually. So yeah, it does have to um, correspond with the area for it to spawn. So like an ender dragon, I'm sure you won't be able to spawn one here. Let's see if the mushroom cow even spawns. There it goes. So there you go, now it's spawning mushroom cows. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the mod. Just allows you to change what spawns out of a mob spawner. So I now need to clear out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this mod. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these programs will work the same, so you can use whatever you prefer. I'll be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to need to download ModLitter and the Spawner GUI mod itself. So to get ModLitter and the Spawner GUI mod, I'll go ahead and give you the link to this page in the description. So first off, if we go ahead and scroll down until you see mod loader at 1.2.3, you can either download from AdFly or direct whatever you prefer. Keep in mind, downloading from AdFly will help support the mod creator. So after you download mod loader, go ahead and scroll down a little bit more until you see Spawner GUI 1.2.3. And again, you can either download from AdFly or direct. And this will also tell you a little bit more about the mod itself. So that is how to download everything that you'll be installing. So when you're ready to install it, just go ahead and come over to start. Then type in percent app data percent, just like this down here. Then go ahead and open up your roaming. Then open dot Minecraft. Now open your bin. Left click your Minecraft jar. Then right click it. Do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now your bin you do not need open anymore, so go ahead and just close that. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Mod Loader. Highlight all these class files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Mod Loader. Now open up the Spawner GUI mod and highlight all of these files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close the Spawner GUI mod. Now in your Minecraft jar you should see a folder called Metainf. If you do not see this folder, that is OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do see it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select Delete Files, then hit Yes and that will delete metainf. You want to make sure you always delete metainf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete metainf, you go ahead and close your Minecraft jar, and that's it. You're done installing the mod. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.